Hello everybody. I am going to continue with Blender modeling with a new little series here. And uh, I am inspired by the amazing modeling and texturing of Wolfenstein. Uh, this is an image from uh, one of the one of the sections of the game. And uh, I really like these filing cabinets. You know, I'm looking for something that's not uh, too difficult to do. And so what I would like to do in this series is model a few of the pieces here. Obviously, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Uh, and in particular, what I want to focus on, I think, are uh, the filing cabinets here, some grunged up documents, this piece of the wall uh, section over to here. And I might stop it there. I'm going to leave this stuff off, at least for now. And I also like this thing here with this grungy glass. And I think I like this lamp. Um, and this thing here, right? Okay, that would give me a chance to, to texture this here. I mean, I could do this in Blender with a, a wave texture, but I, I think I would do it in Substance Painter. Um, and so that is what I'm thinking of doing. I may or may not do a floor. Um, you know, the, the texturing is just, is just beautiful in these. And I would like to do something that would uh, get me a result kind of, kind of similar. Uh, okay. Uh, and so that's, that is, that's my plan for this series. All right. So hopefully, uh, you'll find that, uh, interesting <laughs> whatever uh i know i will all right and so uh i'm going to start off by doing some uh, blocking out of this of this scene i think i'll, I'll start with uh, with this piece here um now if i if i look carefully at this there's more to it than meets the eye um it looks like it cuts into here i'm not sure but i don't think i'll do that i think i'll have it this width or depth or whatever come back wider in this section here but it looks like there is sort of like this little lip and uh, almost like this is an, a different material to this and then it looks like there's another small protrusion here that goes around all right so there's more to it i may not worry about this and this i might just make it all like that i don't know if that looks like sort of like wood all right and I think I'll just have it flat on the ground. It might indent or something underneath there. You know, and then we've got all the parts of these filing cabinets. And uh, I probably would do any dots like this if I did them at all in Substance Painter rather than Geometry. Looks like a little indentation in there. And, you know, this gives a, it gives me a chance to, uh, in addition to the to modeling itself, uh, to do some, I hope, uh, some interesting texturing with some wood up here and with a bit of dust and, and dirt and some some documents and books and stuff and some nice metal uh, effects on that and uh, like I say the nice dirty glass all right so that's what I'm going to start working on uh, here so I'm going to look down from the top and I'm going to bring in a plane and I'm going to scale this in the X. And I'm going to grab these and just move them down. And throw in an edge loop and just start messing around with this. I'm going to select that edge and extrude it. And just see if that could, could do that kind of thing here. So I think I'll take that and I'm going to extrude it up. This is just the block out uh, phase for now. And um, let's see. Let's, um, let's select uh, these ones here and look from the top. And see if that came up to maybe there. And then what if I took that face, Shift D, 
and brought it out. And let's break it out. And grab that edge. And this one bring it down. Let's just start with that and extrude it out. And uh, let's array this in the Y. X and see if I wanted to get three of these. Also that. Okay, so I'm going to move this, move this along here. that start that starts almost mid of the first uh, the first guy here somewhere there maybe two-thirds down okay something like that and uh, let's bring it up and then I can take this edge, shift D, take it out. Let's scale that edge and extrude it out. Did I do that right? All right, let's break it out. Now I'll extrude it out like this. piece under here well there's this is wood and like metal in the piece so again just just blocking it out for the moment uh, I'll, I'll scale this back in the X and how far down does it go right down to around there or something let's I'll just give that some thickness and come back to this and see uh, maybe what I'll do is take this top here. Uh, or actually just one of these edges. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's take one edge to make the glass. Shift D. And I'll center it here. And I'll break it out. Okay. Come up to 
over there for now. Take this shift control B and pull, roll my mouse back to zero. I just need to see actually how far that goes down. It's almost like a halfway type thing. Shift control B, roll my mouse, something like that. And it looks like there's a piece of metal that goes all the way around to hold it and then attaches to there. And uh, actually, this doesn't come quite to the end of that piece there. Maybe like that. And so let's try this. Let's just take that point, this one and this one, and this one. And uh, shifty. Uh, let's see. Let's extrude it a little bit like that. Oh, don't do that. Let's, let's break that out. I just want to focus on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, have I done that? Did I give it some width? No. Yes. Okay. That. Let's try E and Alt S. I'm gonna pull it in a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Then let's take uh, these points of the glass and we'll just not have them in this so GZ, GZ, whatever. Take these, move them a bit, so it's embedded inside there. And yeah, I may have made another copy by accident. You may have seen that and I missed it. take both of these. It's take a long time to do this stupid piece. Alright, uh, let's do this. Yeah, jeez. Okay, yeah, something like that. And I'll adjust the shape of that later. Something like that. And um, just to give some ideas, let's take that P and imagine, let's get rid of that. size. So you had that there and um, there's some other one like books and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just messing around just to get a sense of what it would look like. Thank you. 
Okay, so we got some scale issues to deal with. Various things, but it's not going to come up that high, or is it? It's not going to stay like this. Just to make it look a little bit nicer for the moment. Do a little bit more work on this. Let's let's just battle this. I'll just put one there. And let's take these edges. And split them. Come in here. Do that. Just for now, let's see where I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with this. Good enough. Just do a circle of with twelve to me remodel that part. Just to get something in here. Just for the moment, I'll come in, set my cursor to there, and I'll just bring in a curved path. And just drop this down. So we get some sense of something. it out here okay and that's what what we are coming up with for the moment So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, leave it at that. We'll just uh, check a couple of things. And one of those things is going to be this. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about any of that just to get an idea of how it would go. Join me next time when I will uh, start to get to, into some uh, serious modeling. Thanks very much.